Welcome to the Clash of the Juggalo Collectibles. This is an epic five round battle to the death between Juggalo Collectibles and DC Fago Guy. Be sure to leave a comment on each video whom you thought won the round. Now let's get it started. Round one. My first entry in the Juggalo Collectibles competition. So my first item is the very first item in my collection ever obtained. This exact copy of Carnival of Carnage. Now to the collector's world, it's not an important piece. The year was 96, 97-ish, homie, who was apparently a juggalo back in the day. And he would talk about juggaloisms and ICP albums to this chick. So one day on the bus, another homie who rode the bus decided to dip his sticky little fingers in this juggalo's bag and proceed to remove three to four CDs, one of them being this copy of Carnival of Carnage. When we got off the bus, he decided to offer to sell me one of these albums five dollars which I promptly went ahead and paid for and proceeded to bump this album every day for months on end reading the booklet word for word over and over and over again so that's why this is my first entry into this collection competition to start off our clash of juggle collectibles I had to go with this particular item right here. This is kind of a two-in-one, not, not really so much, but this is actually the oldest piece of ICP merchandise that I own. Not oldest as in when it was released, but oldest as in the oldest item that has been physically purchased by me or a loved one. So this item right here is, of course, the Chaos Comics poster released in, it was released at Hot Topic. This bad boy was bought from my brother back in 1999, might have been 2000, somewhere in that range there. At that time, I was not listening to ICP. My sister was, she was a huge fan of it, and my brother who like, you know, he liked a lot of everything everybody else did as well. He, you know, he was kind of there along with my sister being a fan, being a juggalo. So he's seen this a hot topic and he got it. And it actually, the reason I say a two in one, it actually came with this sticker, which I still have. Super fucking faded and old. Uh, but I went with this item because it is the oldest in my collection. And I don't know how well you can see. Uh, the, the frame does a great job of making this not look like it's in terrible condition. My brother at one point, we have moved so much that he contemplated just trashing this. And I said, bro, what you don't understand about this, this gives it comic aesthetic. It's all wrinkled. It's all folded. The corner down here is torn. The corner over here is torn. Uh, a lot of this right here was so torn and it was basically on the verge of just ripping apart. If I was to take this out of the frame and flip it over, you would find some old pieces of scotch tape where we literally just taped it back together. And I've kept it in a frame ever since just to help it stay in, in better shape. And you can hopefully maybe see up there in the corner there too. Like it's torn in so many places. This thing is barely together. But I felt like that added, added some comic book type aesthetic to it. And this is literally the oldest piece of merchandise in my collection because it's it's something that my brother got back. I want to say it was 2000, 2001 when he got it. It was around the time that the Chaos Comics were coming out. So, uh, you know, Hot Topic had this and again, came with a free sticker as well, which I also have held on to. So that is my first entry into the Clash of Juggalo Collectibles. Don't forget to comment down below who you think wins this round and head over to DC Fago Guys channel on YouTube for the next round.